All right. On Ked Pisa Gano Ella, the next piece of work is a motion regarding the approval by Dáil Éireann of the draft commission of investigation into certain matters rel relative to a disability service in the South East and related matters, Order 2017. And I call on the Minister of State of the Department of Health, Deputy Finian McGrath, to move the motion. Minister, you have five minutes. Uh, can Corla, I move? Can I say, first of all, can Corla, I wish to thank all deputies for their contributions to the debate on this motion in the past three days. I acknowledge their constructive input into assisting the Government's consideration of these highly sensitive issues. This debate has demonstrated the complexity of the issues which we are asking the Commission of Investigation to examine. Despite our many differences in this Chamber, I am absolutely certain of one thing. We all have one thing in common, the protection of grace and all vulnerable people as citizens of this state. I appreciate the passion and the feeling about Grace and others who have suffered so much in the care of the state when they most needed protection. I share it. We are all on the same side. We all share the same unity of purpose in protecting the vulnerable. As I said here yesterday, and I wish to reiterate it uh, uh, to reiterate now and to eliminate any doubt, it is my intention, and it was always my intention that there would be a second phase to this Commission to investigate the care and decision-making in respect of all others who stayed in the foster home. Nobody was to be excluded, but the initial focus of the Commission was always going to be on Grace, given the length of time she spent in that foster home. And I make no apologies for that. It has been said that a nation's greatness is measured by how it treats its weakest members. Members of the House, it is our moral obligation to ensure that safeguards are always in place to protect Grace and those like her who can't speak for themselves. And when those safeguards fail, to find out why and to make sure it never happens again. As members of the House will be aware, the Resilience Ireland report which undertook a full tracing and look back ex exercise on behalf of the HSE, examined 46 other service users who were placed with the foster family, identified as having stayed with the foster family, who were at the centre of this case, primary uh, in the period 1983 to 1995. The revised terms of reference of the Commission of Investigation will now ensure that each and every one of those 46 cases will be looked into. It's only right that they have a voice also, and that was always my position. Members also refer to an individual who was in a private placement with the Foster family and who continued to visit the family until 2015. The terms of reference have been clarified to show that this is taken into account so that the full extent of the person's contacts with the foster family can be examined. I am aware that concerns were expressed this morning at the Public Accounts Committee, specifically in relation to the HSE's earlier appearances before the committee previously, when matters relevant, uh, relevant to this were discussed. I wish to assure all members of the committee that the terms of reference, as suggested by Conor Dignam, takes account of these concerns. And this is something that had emerged this morning. Part B of the terms of reference tasked the Commission with establishing the facts regarding any deliberate suppression or attempted suppression of information during the period 1996 to 2016, with particular reference to the period July 2009 to March 2016. This will encompass the HSE's various attendances at the Public Accounts Committee and address any concerns which the members have, uh, of the committee have in that regard. I would also like to emphasise that if deputies wish to check the terms of reference which were published by the Department of Health on Tuesday of this week, this provision was always included and was always intended to be addressed in the first phase of the Commission's work. Again, I emphasise the importance of these sections. To conclude, it's no good being appalled at the headlines 
if we don't make significant changes, when we see that a system isn't working. We are the lawmakers. We can make those changes. It is time now to move beyond being shocked and appalled at the uncovering of, of one scandal after another and realise that we have the power to effect change to protect the vulnerable so that health professionals, the public and all of the citizens have confidence that vulnerable people in care will be protected appropriately and better. I look forward to that day and I commend this motion to the House. Thank you, Minister, uh, Deputy Murphy O'Mahony.